Okay, and we are back. Hi, everybody. We're um, having another episode here of Wake Up With Wellness. Uh, welcome to our wonderful members. We hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Um, we have some fun stuff for today's show, and we have a great guest um, that'll be on the show today. But before we get into all that, I just wanted to ask my team, how's everybody doing? Good. Everybody's great. Good, good. We're still sporting our awesome uh, Safer at Home hairstyles, but we're all doing okay. <laughs> um, I found some really fun things today for the for the top 10 things to do um, at home, so that'll be fun. Um, and how's everybody doing in their area? What's going on at NRS there, Derek? Uh, still plugging and chugging, gradually seeing an increase in uh, patients wanting to come in. Again, you know, we're here for uh, for anybody who has any little ailment that they may have gotten with their home exercises or <laughs> Uh, walking outside over this pandemic. Uh, so if you need us, uh, give us a call, 353-6161. We'll get you in and uh, get you going. Yeah, yeah. And we're getting busier with that too, which is fantastic. And the fact that we're able to do it and operate safely and by appointment works out great. So if you need anything from us, you need a little physical therapy, give us a call. Uh, I'm definitely going to need something after all this because of my, working at home on my laptop and my neck is all crazy. So I'll be coming into you like this. Perfect. We'll How's straighten you out. All right, good, good. I was watching this video of a chiropractor and all the things that they were doing and the table was going with the things and I was like, oh, oh. it was like a horror show. I couldn't believe this happens, you know? Crazy. I'll stick with you, Derek. I'm not going to a chiropractor. It sounds like they're breaking you. <laughs> to some uh, degree they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Mark, how's it going with you? Uh, pretty good. We had a little bit of a, you know, we got the engines revved up to hopefully get some good news this week, but we're delayed a little bit. Uh, we have trainers making videos. We're creating a lot of social distancing space in the gym with a lot of portable equipment being spread out. I'm uh, fixing little doodads and knickknacks that nobody knew were busted except me, so I'm fixing those. And uh, Gabby and I are collaborating on kind of a phase two daily fitness tip for social media to keep everybody informed, updated, and healthy. And just kind of, you know, keeping the water simmering and waiting to turn the heat up. And we're, we're ready to go. When people are ready, the trainers are ready to go. So just waiting yeah. for the green light. Yep, yep. And in case you guys at home didn't catch um, Governor DeSantis, he did um make another speech and um so we are not opening the wellness center yet he he wants to see how things are going in some of the other states that are opening gyms and spas um so in the meantime we're going to keep coming to you with youtube videos with different ideas to do at home um and just know that we're in the background and we're planning everything we've had you know weekly meetings with our staff to make sure everyone's on board everyone's ready to come back to work that they know our operating um our operations are going to be a little altered for a little while until it becomes safer to go back to our regular way of doing business. So we're all working to make sure that we can open safely and we can still function and we can still get you the service and the quality um, that you know and love uh, from the Wellness Center. So uh, just know that that's all going on. Um, how is everything going with you, Gabby? Really well. Um, so this past week I changed things up just a little bit and I actually did a food item, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> I've been trying to really think of things that I can do because as I'm doing the recipe, there's there's a lot of foods that I've been wanting to do, but camera wise, I'm not you know in a garden or anything like that. So I had to be very selective with, with what I was going to do. And I actually had you in mind because I know that you were doing the gluten the gluten friendly thing. So you got your little uh, wink on that video, and you're like, you could do it with with gluten free oats. I'm like, yay! <laughs> yes, I had you were you were the driving force to that. To be Thank honest you. With you. So, um, but yeah, so the whole the whole concept behind it was, you know, the whole overnight oats. It's kind of taken a, a spin within probably the last like six months, but so many people, we had it in the cafe for a while, but yes. nobody knew about it, and so they were like, isn't this supposed to be hot? I'm like, no, it's supposed to be cold. So I thought it'd be a really great opportunity to just kind of do a little, kind of a background of what it was and, and why it's so convenient and why it's supposed to be eaten cold as opposed to hot. And so I really wanted to do a little bit more of a background as to um, really what it is and, and the convenient factor of what it is and everything like that. 
and I've been encouraging a lot to kind of just play with different flavors. Um, I give every, I like to give everybody options and kind of throw ideas out from what I've done in the past, but I don't like to really stick with one certain thing because I don't want it to be so rigid and reg regimented. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of like to just throw other ideas out there. Um, my biggest thing, I'm, I'm wondering, has anybody made any of these things? No. Um, does anybody have any feedback and what they would like to see me make? I mean, I'm really flexible with all of that, but I've been having a lot of fun with it, I have to say. Um, yeah. I'm, I have not picked what I'm going to be doing next week yet, I will be honest. So I am up for suggestions. Um, but no, it's been so much fun, and I wish I had, I wish I had people here to give these things too. I gave a sample to Mark, so I hope he liked it. But, um, but yeah, other than that, I'm excited awesome. to get it open and, and hopefully if there's anything even in the cafe, I would love to get the feedback and suggestions from our members because ultimately you're the ones that matter. We want to make you happy. So honestly, let us know. Email Laura, email me. Um, when we reopen, stop by and, and tell us. So yeah, I'm really excited. I was I was a little skeptical, like I was a little anxious. I'm like, are we opening? Or are we not? Are we? No. And it was, it was literally to the last minute. And I guess that's what we're gonna have to do now, is just kind of day by day. Yeah, yeah. And it's you know, I, I I definitely understand. I know we're all anxious to get back to work, but to make sure we're doing it the right way is always a good thing. So to yeah. take the extra week or two is is gonna be okay, and we're we're all we can do. Um, and then in, in regard to your recipe, I was so excited and it looks so delicious and I can't wait to try it. And I got gluten-free oats and I'm ready to go. I forgot the blueberries. So that's my next shipped order. And <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm so excited uh, because uh, well, now, what's that? Well, she made me a full serving. Yeah, like yeah. Serving. How was Fantastic. it? Fantastic. I, everyone knows me who works here, members who know me well enough. I'm finicky, I'm paleo, non-GMO, organic. She made a fantastic version. I have tried overnight oats for years. I'm a guy, bacon, dark chocolate, blueberries, and protein powder doesn't work. She made a fantastic version. And the almond milk was the difference. So if you're dairy or not dairy, it doesn't matter. Use almond mm -hmm. milk, but follow her recipe. And it, like I give it a 9.9, .9 and I'm not an easy judge. And wow. it was good. I mean, it was very Thank good. But it was, it was and like I said, I've massacred that type of concoction myself a half dozen times over the years, and it never comes out right. Too soupy, awesome. too goopy, and she nailed it perfect. So follow awesome. again. Uh, good idea, protein energy balls, peanut butter, dark chocolate, and coconut. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. I can do that. Ooh. With sea salt. You just want me to, you're throwing that out, that idea, because you want me to give them, give them to you. I see. Yes. That's selfishness. Always an angle. <laughs> Health, healthy selfishness. Selfishness is healthy. Yes. Suggestion. Well, it sounds delicious. That sounds delicious too. Um, I, you know, there's this breakfast phenomenon that's happening in the background. And when it actually blows up, I'm going to be like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So it hasn't come out yet. But sweet potatoes involved in breakfast is the most delicious thing ever so like a sweet potato toast with like an egg on it and whatever it sounds so good i want to try it but i one day i made sweet potato hash browns and i fried an egg and i put it on top it was the best thing ever so when sweet potatoes start coming really popular breakfast i'm gonna be like I knew it. It almost sounds like sweet potato is going to be the new cauliflower. How cauliflower is yes. like everything now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of places don't have sweet potatoes right now for some reason. I don't know what's going on with sweet potato farms, but oh, we wow. went to a couple places they didn't have sweet potatoes. So maybe so they're getting on the bandwagon already. Interesting. But hint, hint, maybe there's a sweet potato recipe. <laughs> I can look into that too. Yes. Or... Better yet, to our members, we challenge you, if you see a cool recipe that you want Gabby to try, let her know, and she yeah. will, will try her best, and it'll probably be amazing. Uh, well, thanks for doing that video, Gabby, and for all your work, and all of you guys for all your work and all the things that you're doing. Um, we have a, a special guest that has put out some videos for us over the last couple weeks, and um, is you know pretty prevalent in our day-to-day -day operations. I don't want to ruin the surprise and say who it is, so I'm just going to bring him on in. And uh, 
Let's see. Where you go? Hey there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brett. How are you? Oh, surviving. Yay. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, just trying, just uh, getting ready to get back to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what are some of the what are some of the projects you've been doing while you've been safer at home? Um. So, actually, one of the things that uh, I did here was um, I started gardening. Um, you know, I just it's uh, believe it or not, it actually gives me some focus and some relaxation. And so, we're uh, what do we have over there? We've got some uh, sweet peppers, green peppers, um, wow. green beans cucumbers, lettuce, and it's actually, believe it or not, it's growing. That's amazing. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually growing. Are um, you growing any sweet potatoes, Brett? We were just talking about there's a sweet potato <laughs> shortage. Oh, no sweet potatoes, unfortunately. Oh, no, that's actually not a bad idea, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, just doing that. And um, I've been very lucky enough that I have a friend of mine that lives two streets down that has a, a pretty large uh, garage gym set up and and he's been kind of like my workout partner for this during this uh, quarantine time but you know there are other days where he actually has a life to live as well and so um, you know he gave me his garage code and he's like yeah whenever you need it just clean up when you're done and nice. you're good to go so still been staying active um, you know the w one thing I will tell you that's been that's been great is the um, the time I've been able to spend uh, with my family, you know, mm -hmm. uh, my wife and I just celebrated our one year anniversary under quarantine. Yay! Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, having time with, you know, my baby boy with uh, spending time with Roman and, you know, watching him grow and develop and just get stuck under kitchen tables and, you know, <laughs> trying to eat the dog food and all that stuff. It's, you know, it's been, it really, it's been, uh, definitely memories that I'm glad that I'm, I'm, I'm having. Um, yeah. so, I mean, silver lining to the, you know, to the cloud, but, um, yeah. been really enjoying uh, a lot, uh, even though I've, I've submitted two, but you know, the, the workout videos that have been being posted, you know, those yes. have been a lot of fun. Yeah, those have been fun. And, um, the, and I've been actually sharing them with my clientele, like through text Good. messages. Like, hey, check this out. Hey, check this out. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, so it's it's been good. And and uh, I guess final thing is I've still <laughs> I've been bless you. Bless you. Um, <laughs> been still communicating with a number of members and clients. Uh, it goes vice versa. You know, they'll check in on me and my family, and of course. You know, I'll do the same. And Heather and I have offered, like, you know, you know, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Whoever, if you guys don't feel comfortable going out, you know, we're going to Walmart tomorrow. We're going to Publix on Thursday. Just let us know what you need. We can drop oh. it off to you, you know. And um, for the record, no one's taken us up on that offer. Everyone's been comfortable <laughs> enough. But, but you know, the offers That's have been nice. out there and the gratitude has been. dog food if you're going to Publix later. <laughs> yeah, you need dog. <laughs> That's really nice of you guys, Brett. That's really sweet. And it's nice that the members are checking up on you. I think this is oh, yeah. really... Um, put it into perspective for all of us just how just how fortunate we are really you know personally to have our family and our and our homes and our and, a, and our jobs but also professionally to see how how wonderful we really do have it with our members and with the uh, with the Prakashi family that that owns the vineyards we just this is a, a great group of people we're lucky to be part of it at least that's yeah, it's good. yeah yeah well, good. It's so nice to see you, and it's nice to hear your voice and see your face, and those videos that you're making are awesome. Um, for maybe the members at home that haven't checked out the videos yet, can you tell us a little bit about what, you, um, what you're doing? Yeah, so uh, the, the first video that we did was um, more, an, more of an athletically bound video, uh, mm -hmm. definitely one that if you are of more of that active level, that active golfer, tennis, pickleball, um, or just more of that, you know, um, higher athletic uh, ability, let's just say. Um, there, that was that first video. One of the things that, that we put into, um, well, actually both videos, but that first video in particular is you know, giving alternatives. Like, you, you yeah. know, if you can't do A, here's B. Um, yeah. And then uh, for the second video, um, it was 
it was more of a uh, time efficient video. You know, like you've got 30 minutes, you know you're not gonna have any more time, I wanna get something done, mm -hmm. you know, quick, simple, um, and then, and, and we, you know, we, we provided that as well. So um, the video itself is a little shorter, about 17 minutes in total, but if you follow the exercise program um, of the second video, it, you know, it's about 30 minutes. Yeah. And, and you can get in, get out, and um, and actually have a really good uh, good workout. So yeah, um, you know we're going to be working on a third video here on um, s either Sunday or Monday. Uh, still putting together what you know what that's going to be, but uh, but we will have a third video out. And then you know, and then the great thing is, is you know, uh, the one thing I find that's incredible about this video project idea is that. Uh, even though you may not be in Naples, Florida, uh, you can still have that fun interaction, still have that the, the same uh, training experience that you would yeah. you know, if you were down here in sunny Naples. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. And for our members who, who don't know you, they might have not come to the fitness site at all because you're oh, always that's around. Oh, so. that's the only way they don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't alone, know so. Brett, Brett is um, one of our, our trainers. He's been with us almost mm -hmm. since we opened. You came in board on in February, right? Going into No, our actually, I celebrated. I, I got a notice. I celebrated my one-year anniversary on January 10th. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you came in very quickly after we opened. Yeah, um, right after you guys opened. Yep. January 10th was my one year anniversary. Wow. <laughs> well, we were doing a massage video the other day and I was shocked. Like Shanti's been with us a year now. Um, Tina's already been with us six months. You know, now you've been with us over. It's like, it's just crazy. Time, time flew by that first, that first year, especially. But um, so to continue, if, for those of you who don't know, Brett, he's been with us for a very long time. He's a very popular trainer. He does one-on-one -on -one sessions. He does spin class. He does fitness for golfers. What are other some of your other you know fun things that you do, Brett? This way, they they kind of get to know you a little bit. If somebody doesn't actually know you by now. <laughs> well, one of one of the things uh, and one of the you know admirations I have um, of our Vineyards Wellness Center um, is uh, Naples Rehabilitative Services. I think the fact that we have that we are one of the few. Um, uh, country clubs that offer physical therapy to our members is is huge. It's huge. It's, it's gigantic. I mean, it goes beyond words. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the licenses that I've kept up with for now over ten years is um, post rehabilitative fitness. So you know, when when our members come to see um, Derek and you know and get get through their healing process, you know, there may be uh, a little more they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, or you know some unfortunate circumstances where insurance will only will only cover this much, uh, and there is actually this much. Well, that's kind of the neat transition is to be able to um, uh, see Derek, get your physical therapy, get get on the right track, but then be able to um, utilize you know the services that uh, I, I proudly provide and yeah. uh, can can continue on based off of either Derek's recommendation or even any other physical therapist's recommendation. Um, so so that's that's one of the things that I've been working on for a very long time and I love every second of it because uh, in Derek, I'm, you know, you, you see people get better, um, you know, even beyond losing weight, building muscle, doing all that mm -hmm. great stuff. But from not being able to walk to kind of being able to walk to being able to walk to now jogging, it just, it's, it's just Huge. it's incredible experience to, to watch. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I didn't know that you that that was one of your specialties, Brett. I know that you have a lot of uh, you know members that need some of that that post physical therapy care, but I didn't realize that that was part of your your education, your background. So that's awesome. Yeah. So I mean, it's titled post rehabilitative fitness programming, but I mean that's just the fancy pants word. But it's just <laughs> it's just post rehab fitness, and yeah, and that's been a uh, yeah, it's been especially in. In Southwest Florida, it's, yeah. you know, it's, a, it's a valuable uh, license to have. So sure, sure. So, um, so we thank you for being on the show. But before uh, you know, before we go on, is there anything or any tips or anything that you want to um, tell the members uh, so that they can do some stuff at home or make sure they're still doing their their exercises at home? Yeah, um, you know the the one thing the one. And I hate to use the word excuse, but I'm going to use the word excuse that I get is, you know, is, is always 
is always time. Like, oh, I love seeing the videos that you and Gisela have done, Mark has done, they, you know, and, and, you know, but it's just always, oh, it's just time, 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 you know, and, and even under quarantine when you have nothing but time. Um, what, one of my biggest tips that I've always said, you know, one of the reasons why scheduling your personal training appointments are so uh, important is because it makes you accountable. So yeah. just being able to do the, the, the exercise activity, set your watch to it. So what I mean by that is, you know, is, is to say, you, you know what, tomorrow at 10 a.m., this is what I'm going to do. And from 10 to 10.45, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Gisela's workout. I'm going to follow um, Gabby's cooking recipe. I'm going to do Mark's uh, mobility training. But set that time and, and stay stay loyal to that time, um, mm -hmm. you know, because like when people come see us at the at the Vineyards Wellness Center, it's their appointment is from, you know, from 10 to 1030, 10 to 11. And we fulfill that time. Um, and that is what keeps you accountable. So one of my I guess one of the big tips that I like to share with a lot of people is set that time. Say, mm -hmm. you know what, Brett? Tomorrow, 9 a.m., I'm going to get up. I'm going to go for a bike ride. I'm going to stay active until 9.45, and then I'll be done at home. Um, if you get a case of the tomorrows or I'll do it later, that's when you get into trouble. You know, like, oh, it's, yeah. you know, I, I can do it at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock rolls around. You're too tired. You know, whatever. Pick a time. Commit to the time, and you'll thank yourself um, <laughs> later on, I promise. Yeah, and that actually reminds me too, you know, there, it's, it's so easy to get into a little bit of a slump now that we're all kind of home and we, you, know, you might go out for a bike ride or you might go out yeah. for a drive, but um, part of that, of getting out of that kind of funk is to get up and get dressed every day and brush your teeth and put on your makeup and do your hair, uh, you know, as best as you can <laughs> um, and, and set your clock to things that you want to do. Like what Brett said, you know, if you're going to set your clock to working out, then, then do it at that time. Oh, there he is. I know you guys are, I just heard him rustling around, but he's looking up because I have my, my computer is tied to my television, which is right Aww. here. So he sees all your big faces up here. Oh, but hi, baby. He does. There he is. He is huge. Oh, my he God. He is big. He's standing on his, he's pretty much standing on his oh own, Oh, my too. gosh. <laughs> hi, little me. Oh, but. my gosh. There he is. Oh, he's so sweet. I mean, look at those beefy legs. Oh, man. Yeah. Look at those beefy babies. legs. <laughs> Bigger than yours. <laughs> Bigger than mine, I know. It's nice oh, to have but... a little baby around during this time. You know, this way they distract you. Oh, he... Keep you busy. <laughs> Just distraction, yeah. So, Aww. all right. There you go. So... Well, thank Hi, you so... <laughs> look at that face. Thank you so much for joining the show today, Brett, and we really appreciate your time, and we hope that you guys, you know, stay safe, and hopefully here in a couple of weeks, we'll be back up and running. Yeah, we're, we're, we're counting it down, looking forward to it, and, you know, like, um, you know, we say in the videos, you know, um, and any of the members that are watching and listening, you know, we miss you like crazy, and um, again, as much as I've loved spending time with my family i've been really have been going through some withdrawals with my you know my work family you know there at the vineyards including whole staff and you know just gosh the members you know so yeah, yeah uh we're counting down we're keeping safe and hope you guys are too and again we miss you and can't wait to see you guys soon okay yeah well thank you so much brett have a great day take have care Thanks, brett. Nice see right. you, brett. bye guys all right, so that was so cool. And that baby, oh my God, those little chunky legs. How I cute. just want to bite him. <laughs> he got so big. He got so big. I feel big. like he was just born. I know. Where's the time going? I just don't know. Um, well, I want to, unless you guys have anything else to share, I'm going to wrap today. Oh, what do you have, Gabby? I do, really quick, speaking of time. So yes. Saturday actually ends the, our stay-at-home 30-day challenge. That's right. Um, that Mark and I have been working on. So starting on Monday, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, no more workouts, but we're going to be doing a wellness tip of the day. So every nice. day is going to be geared towards something different, whether fitness, nutrition, skin, PT. Um, we're going to change it up. So every day, um, just so be on the lookout for that. Perfect. That sounds awesome. Um, good, good. And that'll be on Instagram, right? 
Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, good stuff. Well, I have, uh, I have the top 10 things from the USA Today. I'm, I think I'm on my third set. So, um, of things that you could do while you're safer at home. And I like the, these ones are really good. I gotta say. Uh, so the number one is go through your camera roll and dispose of your old photos. I don't know about you guys, but I take pictures and screenshots of the stupidest things. I'll be like, oh, I don't want to forget to buy this blanket at Target, and I'll take a picture of it, and then like a year later, I have this stupid picture of this blanket. So now's the time to get in there and start deleting all your old photos. Yeah. I thought that was a really good one. Um, number two, make a list of things that you're grateful for. I think that one's, that one's cute. And when we um, get back up and running, Gabby, remind me, I want to talk to you about a little project. You and I have talked about it before, but I think it's time we do it. Um, okay. Number three is go through your sock drawer. Ha ha. That is such a good one. I that is a good one. I don't know how many left socks I have and not right socks. <laughs> uh, rearrange your furniture. There's that room that just hasn't been sitting right and you've been meaning to do it. Now's the time to do it safely. Don't hurt yourself or else you're going to have to call Derek. Proper lifting mechanics. <laughs> Use your legs. There you go. Uh, do some stretching before and after. Right. Um, but start to change things up a little bit too in your house. Yeah. If you're, especially if you've been stuck indoors, you're probably sick of looking at the same thing over and over. So change it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I like um, that one. That one's a good one. Here's another one. Organize your spice rack. Oh. <gasps> That's There's so one. many. Okay, so you can do a lot. You could alphabetize that. Yeah. You can do it by order of how many times you use it. So you put the ones that you use all the time first. You could go crazy with that. Yep. Yep. That's what I do. I do the, the I do the big ones in the back, and then all the ones I use the most, I put forward. And then I have all those weird ones that I thought I was like Emerald Lagasse, and I got all these spices, yeah. and I'll never use them again. Or like you made this recipe that needed the one thing that you've never yes. used, so you just spent like five dollars on something yeah. that you once. Yeah. 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 And you got that stupid thing. It's like the one jar or bottle that keeps falling over every time you get in there and it's a stupid spice that you never use. Yes. And then you throw it out finally and then one day you need it. Yep. Get rid of those now. Um, okay. Learn a magic trick from YouTube. Oh. I thought that was fun. Uh, here's a good one. This one's especially for the guys. Deep condition your hair. A little coconut Mark, oil. Well, I, I've been kind of struggling with my corona hair, you know? Um, it looks beautiful, Derek. Thanks. I've been conditioning it endlessly. You can give yourself a good weeks. scalp massage. <laughs> there you go. I can tell by the beautiful moisturized shimmer you have. That's right. That your scalp is very moisturized. I had to set the camera up to get this reflective <laughs> angle so that you all could experience that, too. I'm glad you did. My day is better for having experienced that. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, here's another one. Join Masterclass. Have ever have you guys ever heard of Masterclass? No. Okay, so it's a website, or you can get on your phone as an app, and it's all kinds of top people in the industry teach you classes on how to do things. So I like the writers, so I've listened to Neil Gaiman and David Mamet and a whole slew of them, but they have like Gordon Ramsay's on there, and he's going to teach you how to do X, Y, and Z. There's, um, oh, there's so many people. Uh, so anyway, that's a good one. You can, you can purchase by class or you can purchase a year subscription and you can watch all of these experts talk about all kinds of stuff. So check that out. That's Number neat. nine. Yeah, it's cool. Number nine is um, create a book club with your friends. So now you could just get a book on Kindle online um, or you can order it off of Amazon, have it delivered, and then start a little book club for you and your friends. That would be fun. And number 10, probably what most people are doing is having a um, happy hour at home. So <laughs> enjoy your happy hours at home. You could get on Zoom and you can uh, happy hour with some friends and uh, just enjoy enjoy this beautiful weather that we've been having and uh and the the time that this is forcing us to take take a little bit for ourselves and relax a little bit and uh and try to enjoy it as much as possible so, i love them yeah aren't they cute aren't they cute i didn't have a slideshow for today but i thought our there you go mark mark's enjoying it right now beautiful day there's not a cloud in the sky it's gorgeous, it's, gorgeous. it's absolutely gorgeous outside 
Well, that's all I have. How about you guys? You got anything else? That's it. That's I it. think uh, make sure you get on YouTube. We've got a pretty good catalog of about 15, probably upwards of 20. I'll be doing in the next two or three days the greatest weightless workout ever, mobility. You use a broomstick, PVC, a golf club. Uh, we need to get moving. Uh, as Brett said, he's been doing workouts. His are very detailed, instructional, so that's appreciative and professional. Gisela has three or four up there now that are every type of workout. Again, very instructional, trainer-based, so it's not just watching somebody work out. So we've been very specific on making sure you can do it, not just watch it and try to figure it out where a lot of the on-demand stuff is. So you're getting the personal attention that the trainers provide. So again, and we have a, Tracy has a meditation video up. Yeah. that's pretty lengthy and a lot of Gisela's, uh, excuse me, Gabby's uh, nutrition stuff. And I'll be mm -hmm. coaching and nudging her along to get some of those things that I want to eat up there. So, you know, we'll be pushing that. But those are very in-depth and personal based. So you'll get a lot of detail and instruction. Yeah, perfect. And uh, I'm putting up a skincare video to the members who didn't make it out to our Transform Your your Skin with Advanced Skincare. I'm going to just put a cute little, you know, slideshow up and just do some instructions. So if you didn't get a chance to go to that um, class that we had, then I'm just going to walk you through the slides and talk to you a little bit about some of the stuff we talked about in the class. So we'll have some more content up there. Make sure you're checking back every day. You can hit subscribe to make sure you get updated when we do have something new that comes out. And um, just as a little ditty toward uh, the club, if you didn't know, we are having all kinds of things to get you supplies that you need. We're doing farmer's markets now. This, um, by the time this video hits, the farmer's market will have been over, but we, let's say past tense, we're doing a farmer's market Saturday. Um, and just make sure that you're paying attention to the emails that come out because the food and beverage department, activities department, everybody is working around the clock to bring you things to make things easier to distract a little bit. Julie just got done doing a virtual bingo on Zoom, which I can imagine was so much fun. I think we should do like a wellness trivia night or something like that. But um, just make sure you're tuning in so that you know what's going on. And if you need anything from us, you know how to reach us, you can give us a call at the Wellness Center, or you can email us at the info at vineyardswellnessnaples.com. Um, I think that's it for me, if that's it for you guys. And I just, want to show, I just want to show my little baby to the members. This is my little, my little Wula. She was, she was just sleeping. So cute. She was like, Mom, I'm sleeping. Um, if you need company, I highly recommend going out and getting a puppy. That's my, <laughs> that's my recommendation for you today. A rescue <laughs> puppy. A rescue, or even if you go to a pet store safely with a mask on and sanitizer, you're still rescuing puppies because those aren't the best situations for dogs to be in either. So get yourself a little pal if you're feeling lonely. I can tell you from experience, it's been the best thing ever. Um, and uh, to all of our members out there, please be safe, be careful, and know that we're thinking about you. We miss you guys. We are getting ready. We're just so close to opening, um, and you'll be the first people to know. So we'll hopefully see you soon. Bye. Stay safe. Bye, Bye everybody.